Hey, what's up? It's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. Now this video right here is a compilation of several videos that help make up the course that you're taking right now. Now to help you navigate through everything, I've provided timestamps down below in the description. So I recommend going, check out those timestamps, watching what's relevant to you. Let's get into it. Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing and I wanna welcome you to the Ultimate Facebook Ads course. This is just an introductory video, give you a little bit of course outline and then we gotta get into it because there's a whole lot to cover. So I'm gonna keep this video pretty short and just kind of cover the highlights, right? So this is the introduction and we also cover the business manager in this section as well. So you'll see that in the next video. Then we go ahead and talk about the Facebook pixel. We talk about what it is, how to install it, and how to set up different events so that way you can optimize your campaigns and get the most out of your Facebook advertising efforts. Then we dive into audiences and we go over how to create custom audiences, lookalike audiences, as well as saved audiences. And then we talk about the basic campaign structure and how it's laid out. So we have campaigns and inside of campaigns, we have ad sets and inside of ad sets, we have ads. So we cover those three tiers in this section. In the next section, we cover basic marketing strategy. And this is essentially marketing 101. And this is pre Facebook advertising stuff. So if you don't have these elements in place before you start advertising on Facebook, you're probably gonna lose a whole lot of money. So this section is pretty important. And then we talk about planning the launch of your campaign. So this comes down to mapping out your campaigns, mapping out your content, planning your audiences, and figuring out how you're gonna pull people through your entire campaign. And then we have a step-by-step -step campaign setup. So this is an over-the-shoulder view where I go in and I set up a campaign from start to finish. I show you everything about it. I show you the pixel, the events, the pages, the audiences, the campaigns, the ad sets, the ads. I show you how to put it all together into one campaign. And this is a real campaign. I actually launch this campaign and I show you the results as well. And then we get into optimization and testing. So of course, once your campaign is live and people start clicking on things and buying things and opting in for different things, you can start to optimize your ads and your ad sets to improve your results. And so that's what we go ahead and cover in this section. Of course then, when things are going well, you probably wanna scale up your advertising efforts. And so we have some training on scaling. And finally, we have a miscellaneous section where we have videos and trainings on different elements of the Facebook advertising platform that didn't really belong in any other modules, but are pretty cool things anyway. And I wanted to show them to you. So as you can tell, we have a lot to get into. Again, my name is Nathan Williams. Very happy to have you. Let's get into it. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the business manager, which is the way that you wanna go ahead and manage your ad accounts, your pages, your Instagram accounts, all that type of stuff related to advertising. You wanna do it through your business manager. Now, Facebook will let you create an ad account on your personal account, but you don't wanna do that, okay? You wanna set it up in a business manager because it gives you a lot more control over how everything's connected and also it lets you give other people access to your ad accounts and pages and everything. And also it lets you connect different tools to your ad account as well. So it's very powerful to use the business manager. So avoid using a personal Facebook ads account at all costs. I always go through the business manager and I think I said this, but you can pull in your personal, like if you already started a personal ads account, you can pull it into your business manager and basically run it from your business manager. So not all hope is lost. If you started in your personal ad account, you can still come into your business manager. So anyway, it's free and easy to do. You just go ahead and log in and you use your regular Facebook information to log in. And I'm gonna go ahead and log into mine and I'll give you a brief overview of how it all works. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the training. Real quick, I have a special offer that I wanna to present to you where you can get a digital copy of my book as well as an audio copy. Plus I'm giving away 20 pre-written emails that make your email writing a piece of cake. And finally, I have a seven figure funnel. It's the first funnel that I built that generated over seven figures for a small business and it includes training on how to actually set up the funnel if you're interested in that plus several other bonuses link in the description down below or there'll be a link in the little box up above here so if you're interested check it out back to the training so here we are on the business manager and in particular we're in, under business settings so if you just came up to your top menu the same menu you use to get to like your pixels and everything else uh, if you just go to business settings you should wind up right where I am um, as well so on the left-hand side is your main navigation menu, and this is like the, the high-level categories. So people, partners, accounts, and then pages, ad accounts, business asset groups, apps, etc. And then in the middle here, or kind of leftish middle, 
that's when you can go ahead and select different things. Like right here, I'd select different people. So if there's multiple people in my account, I could go ahead and click on them. And then on the right hand side, right here, this is where you give them access to certain assets. So whether that's pages, ad accounts, Instagram accounts, etc. So that's kind of the flow of it. It's like a hierarchy. So this is the highest level and then it goes down to the lowest level. All right, so there's kind of two ways to start, I guess. So first things first, you would need to go ahead and make sure you have your pages and your ad accounts and everything else inside of your business manager before you go ahead and start adding people to those assets, right? So we're gonna start down here first and then we'll come up to people and partners. Uh, so obviously pages, this is where uh, you bring in pages that you're using for your, your marketing efforts. So basically any page you control, you can go ahead and add into your business manager. And what you do, you just come up here to add, you can add a page, request access to a page, or create a brand new page. So pretty self-explanatory. Like if you already created a page, you could go ahead and you know add your own, or you know if you are taking on clients and you wanna request access to their page, you can do that here and you know pull it into your account. So basically you'll wanna go ahead and pull in any pages that are relevant to your advertising efforts uh, right into this area. Same concept here with your ad accounts. You wanna go ahead and add in all your ad accounts. And this is where you could go ahead and add in your, your personal ad account as well. So you could just come up here to add ad account and you'd grab your ad account ID. So let me come over here. And this is your ad account ID right here. So I have this personal account here. So I could grab this ad account ID right here and come back into my business settings, paste it in there and add an ad account. So if you accidentally got started in a personal ad account, and you're like, oh shoot, I messed up. Well, no worries, you can go ahead and bring it into your business manager here and you'll be good to go. Or you could just start a brand new ad account right in here if you haven't started yet. So to start, create a new ad account, you just come here and do new ad account and there, there you go, you have a brand new ad account created from scratch. And then of course you could go ahead and request access to an ad account if you're trying to get into somebody else's ad account. So anyway, you add all your ad accounts here, pretty simple, self-explanatory. And then we have business asset groups, which I'm gonna come back to. First, I'm gonna to go to apps here. So if you have any sort of apps connected to Facebook, you could go ahead and add them to your business manager here. Instagram accounts, so if you have an Instagram account, recommend connecting it to your, your business manager here, so that way you can run ads through your business account. So it's real easy, you know, just add your account, connect your Instagram account, and boom, you can pull it in. Line of business, I've never actually used this before, so I'm not exactly sure what it does, but, but you definitely don't need it for anything that we're gonna do in this course. Data sources, so here, this is pretty cool. You can go ahead and import like your catalog if you have an e-commerce store like Shopify store or WooCommerce store. They generate catalogs and you can go ahead and import them right here and then you can use your catalogs to create dynamic product tags later on, which can be very beneficial. And then pixels, of course, are all your pixels that you've gone ahead and created. So if you haven't created a pixel yet, no worries. We're gonna do that soon in the course. Uh, offline event sets. So if you are are tracking offline events, you could go ahead and set that up here. Custom conversions can come through here. Event source groups and shared audiences. So as we get further down this list, it becomes less and less prevalent to what we're doing here. But by all means, feel free to click around in here and see if there's anything that you know, sounds interesting to you. There's lots of information and articles on how to use the business manager. So by all means, feel free to click around in here. But what I do wanna come back to is this business asset groups because this is pretty helpful. Basically, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and create a, a business asset group and then go ahead and select the appropriate category right here. Typically, I just select the separate brands or line of business, select that option. And then what you can go ahead and do is you can add different assets to this business asset group. So we can go ahead and add assets. So here you can go ahead and add pages. So you can select like a page, you can select your ad account that's relevant, you can select your pixels that are relevant. And basically what Facebook is gonna do then is it's gonna know like all these different accounts that you have connected are connected to each other. Like, so if somebody sees you on Instagram and on Facebook and engages with you, Facebook's gonna blend all that stuff together so you can track it. And this is particularly useful in analytics. And I have another video on analytics in this course, so you can go ahead and check that out as well. But in order to get the most out of analytics, you wanna create a business asset group that includes all the assets for your business. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you is 
this business asset group. And then also we'll come back up here. Once you've imported your pages, ad accounts and all this other stuff, then you can go ahead and you know give people access to things. So here I am, Nathan Williams. I can go ahead and add assets to me if I want to. So same concept as adding them to a business asset group. We just come in here, select the page we want, uh, figure out what permissions we want to give them to the page, and so on. Add accounts, they should have access to any ad accounts. Go ahead and select that. What permissions you want to give them. Catalog, same concept. App, same concept. And then just save changes and boom, just like that. Uh, your person can have access to whatever you give them access to, right? And then finally, partners are other businesses that you've shared information with or they've shared information with you. So you can go ahead and give a partner access to your assets or ask a partner to share their assets. So this lets another business into your business manager or, or you into other business business managers compared to individual people, right? So the entire business would have access to your account and vice versa. But you can go ahead and same concept, share different lists and information and all that other type of stuff with people and their businesses and so on. So anyway, I know that this was a lot of information real fast. The main concept here is to make sure that you import all your relevant pages, ad accounts, Instagram accounts, etc. Combine them into a business asset group so that way you can track everything. And then also make sure that the right people and or partners have access to what they're supposed to have access to. If it's just you, all you got to do is give yourself the access and you're good to go. And that's it for the business manager. Alrighty, so this is just a quick little update video. So basically, within a month of myself shooting the course and editing it and uploading it, Facebook went ahead and updated their graphical user interface for their ads manager. So it looks a little bit different than when I shot the course, but it still functions the same way. You still have campaigns, ad sets, ads, the strategy is the same thing, the tactics the same thing, everything is the same. It just looks a little bit different. And I just wanted to kind of point a couple things out to you so that way you don't get lost or anything like that because I definitely don't want you getting lost. But you can rest assured that everything still functions the same way. It just looks a little different is all. So anyway, it obviously looks a little different than my videos. But the main thing really is like the navigation. So if you come up here to the top, like they kind of change things around over here. Um, so now we got ads manager, audiences, account quality, images and video, events manager, and business settings. And you'll probably just bounce between like ads manager, audiences, and events manager mostly. You might get into billing or business settings. This is your, your business manager. Uh, but anyway, so you know, you can come over to audiences. And so your audiences look a little different. You know, they still functions the same way and everything. To create a new audience, you click create audience and you can go ahead and search through it or filter through it and all that same type of stuff. So same concepts and everything. If you need to go ahead and change your ad account, you do it over here on the right hand side instead of like over here on the left hand side. So they move that for whatever reason. Um, and then the main thing is that I found kind of complicated was you, you want to click like on home to go back to your ads manager. But if you do that, I'll show you what it does. It brings you to the business manager. And then you're like, well, I need to go to my ads manager because that's where I want to be. So instead of clicking home, you want to click on this little grid thing and then it pops up the menu and then you can go back to ads manager. So that was one thing that kept throwing me for a loop. I kept clicking home and it kept bringing me to the business manager and then I'd have to like weave back over here. Um, and then your pixel stuff is under events manager. So this is where you go in to find your pixel. And if you need to change your ad account, you change it right here. And then here's your pixel information and you can go ahead and set up your data sources here and set up your pixel this way. And then of course the menu's up here now and then you can go back to ads manager and so on. So I just wanted to point out that yes, it does look a little bit different than the videos within the course. However, everything else functions the same way. Same strategy, same tactics, same everything else. It just looks a little different. So anyway, let's get back to the course. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed the training. Now I have a quick special offer for you. So if you want a digital copy as well as an audio copy of my book here, as well as 20 pre-written emails to make your email copywriting a piece of cake. And I also have a seven figure funnel. It's the first funnel that I built that generated over seven figures of revenue for a small business. And the funnel includes a course on how to set it up and also how to actually sell that funnel to small businesses. So if you're interested in starting a digital marketing agency, that course and that funnel are, are 
an ideal option for you. And there's a bunch of other benefits and stuff, bonuses and stuff. Anyway, link in the description down below or there's gonna be a little button probably up here in the video if you're interested in checking it out. Yeah, just, just check it out if you're interested. Um, and other than that, I hope you have a great rest of the day.